Hi everyone, it's the tiniest of Logans sporting a Threadripper 2 t-shirt because today I'm finally allowed to talk about it. If you follow me on social media then you'll probably have worked out that I was in Italy with AMD the other week where I went to learn about Threadripper and all of the 32 core 64 thread madness that is their kind of uh, next gen. So it is 12 nanometer. There's a lot of sort of stuff that I didn't want to say about, but I want to keep it on point before we start having a look at the box because today it is about the fact that is a box opening. I can show you the packaging. I can show you the kit that I've got finally. And I'm allowed to mention names like the 2990WX, which I actually have. It's in this box at the moment. Now, the, uh, there are two NDAs. Today is the 6th, or if you're watching it later, but anyway, like the video goes live on the 6th. That is our box opening NDA. I'm allowed to talk to you about all the gubbins apart from performance. On the 13th, that is the date that all of the performance reviews are going to go live. Also, on the 6th, uh, everything gets opened for pre-orders, so you can go to your favourite shop, e-tailer, all of that sort of stuff. Put your money where your mouth is and you can pre-order one nice and early. When you do go to that shop, you'll get given the date when you should expect it. So for argument's sake, they might say that they're shipping on the 13th, for example. The reason why I'm saying they might say that is because at this present moment in time, I personally don't know when the shop's gonna get the stock to send them out. I think it's gonna be relatively quick though. I don't think you're gonna be waiting weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks because of the way that they're structuring things to kind of get the stuff out the door. I also know that there's, as I'll talk to you about in a minute, there are more CPUs coming later. So it's not just the 32 core, we have others. There's, yes, there's um, 16 plus. So not 16 plus CPUs, but it, they start, the smallest one is the 16 core, and then they go up. So we've got all of that to talk about today as well. Now, I'm not gonna bore you too much now, because at the end of the day, you wanna see this, and you also probably, I need to go around the other side because I'm terribly, terribly bad with this stuff, but you want to see the coolers and the motherboards and all that sort of stuff, don't you? Okay, so packaging time. So we'll talk to you about all of the CPUs and all the clock speeds and all that sort of stuff. But this is the press box. Sadly, this isn't what you're going to get at home. But I did want to share with you the kind of, well, let's face it. They do make it an event when a, uh, stuff like this turns up. Sometimes it's literally just the CPU in a black box. This kind of goes that extra step further. So when we open the lid, which I'm gonna admit, if this was green, I would think it was from a different company because of the two stage side of it, but, oh, right. So when we open the lid, first stage, we get greeted with this. And it is, like I said, it is a bit of an event. And we can pull this out. And there you go. So you can see 2990WX, 2990WX. They've added the W in. If you follow the news on OC3D, because we do put a lot of news up, then you probably would have known about the W getting added for a while. 32 cores, 64 threads. Now, like I said, sadly, this isn't the packaging you're going to get at home. But the other thing that is in the box is the thread ripper cooler from Cooler Master that you may have seen at Computex, but we will get to that because I do want to show you in depth us taking a look at this because it is rather special. I'm trying to move everything out of the way because there is a lot of it, a lot for us to uh, get through and show you. So this, this is a sheet of aluminium which has um, been printed or whatever at the front. You can see it's brushed as well. Then down the size, I mean, I'm, this is a properly, properly nice bit of packaging. Anyway, if we pull the sides off, there are two little clips. Let's see if we can get a bit more light on the situation. If you're wondering about these being lit up, they're not. It's just the, the acrylic catching the light. Oh, oh, that's one of those broke. Yeah, genius, Thomas. And then if I lay it down, Come on. Can you tell I'm nervous? There we go, okay. So that is just a sheet of aluminium. It's, like I said, it's 
It's a proper, proper job. And then we get to this. So this is the second stage. Now, when I take this section out, this is what you will guys will get at home. I'm gonna put the back section back together. I have some plans for this back section, by the way, which we might uh, talk about on the OC 3D forum. So if you're interested in this, I might give you, might, might give you a chance to win it, but I need to see if I can get the time to do what I want to at first. Anyway, so this is the packaging that you'll get at home. You can see on the top, 2900WX, obviously if you were to buy this, but if you were to buy one of the other models, then you'll get one of the other ones. So the 2900WX uh, is the flagship one, 32 cores, 64 threads, base clock of three gigahertz, turbo speed of 4.2 gigahertz. There's gonna be a model below it as well, which will come out slightly later called the 2970WX, that'll be 4.2 and three gigahertz as well, but that's just gonna have 24 cores and 48 threads. Now this, is going to come in at around $1,800. The uh, 70 model is going to be around $1,300. And then there's going to be some slightly lower down ones. You're going to get uh, the 2950X, which is basically the replacement for the uh, 1950X, which is this one, see? And get it around the right way, 2950X. This is 16 cores, 32 threads, 4.4 gigahertz max boost with a 3.5 gigahertz base. And then there'll be one slightly below that as well. And uh, it's gonna have 12 cores, 24 threads, and uh, it's gonna be 4.5 gigahertz um, boost with a 3.5 gigahertz base. So there's a few bits and bobs there for you to kind of, you can see it, I've already opened this. That might be because I've already started testing. Yeah, might have done. Anyway, so. There's those things for you to keep in mind. At the end of the day, it's 12 nanometers, Zen Plus, and if you follow any of the AMD stuff, it's got all of the second generation Ryzen features, but it's on the TR4 socket, which is exactly the same as what Threadripper was before. All of the old boards are gonna be able to be supported with a BIOS update. If you buy an old board with the, the BIOS, old BIOS on it, you can do a BIOS flashback with the USB to upgrade it. It's all backwards, forwards, backwards, upside down compatible. It's all good in the hood. They thought of everything. They've not changed the socket. They've not changed the pin out. It's just all being super turbo upgraded. If you, I've not tested this yet, but you are gonna have to wait for me to test it. I can't talk to you about sustained boost with all cores loaded. I can't talk to you about power. When we do um, do my main review, I will go into depth with you about power requirements and maybe sort of motherboard compatibility and all of that sort of stuff. But this is the main event for the big CPU. So rip here, it says. Now, when I rip here, literally I'm tearing this open and I haven't. I saved this for you. Admittedly, I am testing the 2950X at the moment, but I saved this for you guys. So you get to savor this with me. Now, there is a clip inside, as you can see in there, and that little clip actually holds on to the top of the CPU as well. And I know because of the light, I'm not gonna be able to show you now. It's gonna annoy me, but it is there, and I will show you. In fact, I will show you on this one. Hopefully, the light will be kinder to us. Okay, so, if you have a look. Can you see that little black thing appear? Woo, whoop, woo. So, that pretty much holds on to your CPU. And that's it, all lovely, lovely. But we'll go back to this. We will unclip, undo. Now, like I said, there is a little tab at the top. If you look carefully, it will pop down. I know I'm like the most worst guy in the world to be doing sort of like closey uppy stuff, but it's just the reflections. Ah, there we go. Look, see, yeah, look, it disappears. All of that so that we can do this. And it does come, needs a bit of a pull, but it's in there, and you uh, t pull the tab, and it comes, oh, it's, it's, all right, I'm gonna do that again. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm excited. So, pull the tab, undo it, and then you have your CPU underneath. Now, what you need to remember is there are full, four full CCXs underneath that, because it's, it's all a bit insane in the membrane. Oh, look at it. Look at it, look at that. I'm gonna zoom you in again and just. Oh. 
2990WX. Love it. I am literally going to try and take a picture while we're filming. And it's not going to let me because it's... There we go. We've got a couple. Anyway, so I am properly stoked about this. So it all comes in a nice thing. You can obviously put it back in. The one thing I would say is I've not found anywhere because it'd be nice to have a little blank to put in this so that you could put the box on display. Anyway, they did say when we were at the event that there would be um, one in there, but it's, there's not. Other things that we need to talk about while I zoom you out, because let's face it, I'll forget how zoomed in we are. You get a little box at the bottom down here, which you can pull out. In said box, you get one sticker there with your manual. You get another big sticker there. This one says yada 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 TR4 socket blah blah blah. Then you get an Acetec uh, cooling mount, so you can fit it to, for argument's sake, your Corsair H150i should you want. And then you also get a Threadripper Torx tool. So this means you can't over torque, which is over tighten the uh, motherboards. Uh, because there are big screws and the like on the motherboards. Now, I'm not going to bore you by going into depth about how to fit the CPU or anything yet, because to be honest with you, I don't think we need to at this present moment in time, because it's all been about packaging. But you may want to know, CPU, what I'm going to be testing it with. So I have a couple of motherboards, thanks to AMD, which I'm bringing in. Now, we've got the ROG Zenith Extreme. This is what's on my table at the moment. I'm starting with that one, but there is a second board. Basically what ACES have done, they've had a little heat sink underneath uh, the CPU. So below the CPU and before the PCR Express slot, they've had a little heat sink in there because there's a MOSFET there and apparently it was getting a bit warm. The, they've also added a heat sink, sorry, they haven't added a heat sink. They've added a little fan, which you can add on or take off. It doesn't really matter at the top. The heat sink goes kind of underneath here. The uh, fan kind of goes on the top. Um, it's a tiny little fan. I'm, I don't know how noisy it is or anything yet because I've not tried it. Uh, but yeah, anyway. So I've also got this, which is a 19 phase absolute behemoth of a motherboard. Now, if this performs anything like this spec list, we're in for a treat. Because like I said, there are 19 power phases going on at the top. They literally all the way across the top. 16 of those are just for the CPU. It's capable of 720 watts just for the CPU. There are MOSFETs all over the back, big heat sinks, loads of heat sinks down here. There's also a heat pipe with a load more heat sinks down here as well. It is an absolute monster. Some people don't like the RGBs on it. I have already done a video on this, by the way. So if you're interested in this, Head over to the OC3D TV channel, find the video for the MSI X399 creation, because there are lights here, lights over here. It does light up nice, there's lights down the side. If you want to have a better look at this, but on paper, this looks like uh, it could be a bit of a warrior for Asus. I don't know whether it will be yet, because at the end of the day, I've not tested it yet. But it is an all new motherboard, and it shows a bit of, um, kind of a bit of enthusiasm. They've actually spent some time, they spent some money, they spent a lot of effort bringing us a brand new board with plenty of power, which, you know, to power all of those 32 cores. Um, I think Gigabyte have got a new board with a load of power phases and loads of heat sinks and stuff as well. Uh, so yeah, it does make me wonder whether Asus have been like, you know, doesn't matter, our board's already amazing or whether they've kind of been a bit lazy compared to everyone else. So we're gonna to have to see. So this is genuinely stuff that when I'm testing, I'm actually looking forward to. So I'm going in on the Zenith to see, because yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm worried. I think I could say I'm worried because they're the only ones that don't seem to have done anything. Maybe they did a better job in the first place. Only time is going to tell and you're going to have to come back to find out. So other things that I've got. Uh, I asked Cooler Master for this while I was actually stood in the room in Italy when I saw one. So this is a dedicated TR4 cooler. It's got the full fat mounting plate on it as well. So it's not just a tiny little mounting plate. It's got a big full fat one, full cover CPU. Um, so we're going to get a chance to go with that. I did also end up getting one of these as well by mistake. But anyway, so we've got a 280 millimeter full fat TR4 cooler as well as a 360 millimeter cooler. But the other thing that we do have, which came in the packaging, is, and you may have seen this at Computex. Now, 
again, lots of kind of like pizzazz because it's a mammoth cooler. Now, AMD worked with Cooler Master on this to make a custom air cooler for Threadripper. And again, it's a full fat TR4 full cover cooler. Now, this is the first time I've seen this. I probably should have done that a lot slower, but anyway, the story of my life is to do it quick. That's what she said. Anyway, this is all RGB as well, but you can see it's, it is the thread ripper cooler. I'm trying not to touch the thermal paste on the bottom, but at the end of the day, when I mount it, I'm gonna end up taking it off anyway. Um, so it's all black fins. I have to admit, for an air cooler, this thing has a lot of weight to it. You can see that they've put a lot of time and effort into this as well. I love the fact that we have the proper rise and thread ripper. This does light up with uh, the RGB as well, and it goes right the way down the sides. There is only a single fan in the middle, which appears to be a 120. You can also see, if I hold it this way for you, that there are cutouts down the sides so that you get better memory module support on the board. Now, I'll be able to tell you exactly the sort of height and clearance. It might not be like full-fledged, massive uh, heat sinks, but at the end of the day, it's still pretty good. You can also see these here. Now, these screws, go right the way through to the bottom. So if you turn them at the bottom, they turn at the top. So you haven't got to have any special screwdrivers or anything like this. I love the fact that the cooler is gloss black with that edging of the RGB because it does, again, it makes it a bit of an event. What is it with AMD and a bit of an event? It's almost like flying me to Italy so that I can drive Ferraris. Anyway, because yeah, I did do that. Um, so it's just a shame I didn't get any videos of me actually in the car. We were all too busy having fun. Um, but I'm really, really looking forward to spending. I've only got a week, but I am going to spend the next week dedicated testing Threadripper. Now, I know numbers already because I've seen this working and um, I've been privy to seeing them uh, running and the scores that they're pumping out, but I'm not allowed to talk about them. But you may be able to hear that I'm smiling. You may be able to hear that I'm smiling. And I really do have to go now because otherwise I'm gonna let something slip. But we have the air cooler, which I will be testing on both of the CPUs that I've got, because I've got the 16 core and the 32 core. I am going to be um, testing the air cooler on both, but I've got the water coolers as well as backup. I've got two motherboards. I've got a lot to do, but I will be back on the 16th with all of the information that you might want, especially whoever it is that's just WhatsApp me because they obviously want some information out of me as well. But for now at least, now at least, this has been the tiniest of Logans talking about, I'm gonna try and put this away properly. No, I'm not. Talking about Threadripper. I went in really easy. That's what she said as well. Anyway, all of the Threadripper goodies. I will see you in a week. I hope you're excited as I am. Ding. No, we won't do that. That's bad. We'll just do ding like that. Ding, 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 ding.